Alright, so here's the garage door. See, I got these buttons over here. I'm gonna close it. And on the inside, <clears throat> I have buttons to open and close it. So I'm gonna close it. And then I jump up here to open it. Oh, I <laughs> open. Okay. I'll come out here and close it. So the way that that works, this is my proof of concept over here. This um, structure with a white block outline. <clears throat> so this is what how the garage door is made. And uh, what you don't see are these blocks with the blue are uh, what they call mag magnetic... What are these things called? They're called uh, pusher. Downwards pointing pusher. And they, they can only work on these these red um, boxes which you can make you can camouflage them and make them look like any other kind of I want to say any other kind of uh, craftable object, but I'm I'm not so sure about that. Anyway, so the way the way that that works, a really simple uh, look at that is with this. <clears throat> oh man, I really got to hurry it up. Or this is going to be a boring video. Right now, it's already up at the top. So you just go next to it, and then it says A to push. You push. It pushes down, and um, you can go to the other one. Camouflage. I don't want to camouflage it. I just want to push. Come on. Say A. There we go. There. And that, uh, you got to have something in its path to stop it. At least one. At least one block. I, I don't know what happens if there's nothing in its way. <laughs> um, so, but then there's switches. You see. Oh, a cat brought me. Uh, a cat brought me some wood. Um, the, the switches will do the work of pushing A next to the box for you, right? Because if I, I can push A next, next to the box and that will activate it. But the other way to activate it is by, um, I guess pushing that button. And the button will activate whatever is in its path, uh, the path of wherever the triangle is pointing. Um... But you don't have to push the button for the button to be activated. It could be triggered by another pointing button. So I have one pointing down and one pointing up because up I have another button. So this is the garage closed position, what we're looking at here, right? And that red button, I, I could jump on it and it will activate whatever is in the path of that red arrow which would be this square and this these are these are the squares that are that can react with the button right because there's they're, they're special they they do something they push something it pushes it pushes the the red blocks down we call them magnetic blocks until they until there's something in its path. They stop when they hit something in its path. In this case, it's more of those blocks. So now, oh, see, I, I touch the arrow <clears throat> and it activates those two blocks that are down there. They push, right? They push the door back up. So I've got a, but the buttons, I can activate this button up here, which sends the signal up to this button which then does its uh, takes its action against these and that's how that's how it works and then the the down arrow button points to the button that I have down there right it acts on the button that's down here and pushes those up and that's what's in that's what I have buried into the ground and hiding in in the walls and stuff. So, uh, open. Yeah. See? Magnetic block. The blue, blue square with the 
plus sign looking thing. Kind of looks like a D-pad. And then, um, see these, the, the buttons outside, this is how I'm controlling the door from the outside. But then I want to activate those buttons from the inside, so I just put more buttons that point to them. And it goes through the wall. The signal just goes through the wall. That's for when it's closed. There we go. So, that's how that works. Uh, anyways, uh, enough for now.